What are your goals for 2024? What are your dating goals? Dating, dating goals. specifically. The first time I met a person just like literally checking off my boxes. Yeah. But light element to it. We're having fun going on these dates. I mean, I'll, it's a situation show. It's a situation show, I guess. <laughs> the blocking culture here in the gay community is so fucking quick. Hi, Hi Tokyo, Tokyo Tops. <laughs> so if you remember last year, uh, we did a video about our dating wrap in 2022 Two. with Don and Cody. Yes. But this year, it's just two of us. I kind of like thought about my story and stuff. So like sure. I watched the video again. To use one simple sentence to describe my dating uh, experience in 2022 mm -hmm. was one shot, one kill. One shot, one kill, right? Because I had a boyfriend back then. I rewatched the video about your part as well. And then you said your goal for this year, for 2023, was to meet more people in the wild. Oh. I want to meet people in the wild. Oh, oh okay. Like so, in the park? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I need to find a boyfriend or do dating or whatever, but I, I want to start meeting people more out at oh, bars mm, and yeah. yeah, and see where that goes. Do you feel you fulfilled your goal? Yes. I achieved that, but I also ran into new problems with that. I guess this is whole this is part of the whole thing. Yeah. But meeting people in the wild, you don't know what's going on. If I'm meeting someone on Grindr, if I tap them and they tap me back, right? Mm. You kind of know like there's something, right? There are more like signals for you to read the situation. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Definitely when meeting people in the wild, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> should I make a move? Are you giving me enough signals that like qualify for me to think that you're interested for me to then make a move? Mm -hmm. Not knowing really like the etiquette almost in a way where I'm, I'm too used to online dating. In that but way. I feel like that's the charm of meeting people in the wild. You kind of like jump into the darkness where mm -hmm. you don't know how the conversation is going to turn out to yeah, be, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. so. My dating 2023 20, was not good, but it wasn't bad. I just think it just didn't really exist. I've been blocked a lot. On apps? Yeah. And I brought a couple of examples. For instance, there was like this guy recently who we've actually chatted for a number of years. We connected on Grindr. He was visiting. Totally my type. Uh, he was like, oh, I'm leaving. Um, but let's keep in touch. Like, you're my type too. I was like, cool. So we kept in touch uh, throughout COVID. I was at the gym the other day. I saw his profile mm -hmm. like 100 meters away. So and he I was, was like, in the gym. So he was, and, but he was also in Japan. Mm. So I'm like mailing him on Grindr, nothing. But we've also exchanged like WhatsApp details. Mm. We've been chatting on WhatsApp too. Yeah. So, and I thought like it could even be like a, a catfish. Yeah, yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah, that yeah. that happens, of course, right? Yeah. So I mail him on WhatsApp to see, like, are you it's, are you in Japan? Are you being catfish? Like, what's going on? And then just totally never spoke to me again. And so another story I have is also recent as well. I met someone on Grinder, so again, not in the wild, unfortunately. But in this idea of wanting just to get to know people, not straight for sex in that way, like actually getting to know people. This was a guy that I sort of tried to practice that with. I was on my way home and I just was walking through the station, found a cute guy on Grinder. we started chatting. He was like, around that time it was about like 11, I guess. Mm -hmm. So he was like, oh, hey, like, yeah, I'm in the area, blah, blah, blah. I'm, um, I'm visiting Japan, uh, but I also have some family here. I'm going home soon. So I was like, okay, well, do you want to just like meet up? But if we're both heading to the station, let's walk to the station. Yeah. Like it's innocent enough. That's so very then, cute. Yeah. <laughs> so then we meet and we actually spent about an hour chatting with each other. About halfway through the chat, he realizes that we're actually really close to Nichomen. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, you're super close. He was like, oh my God, I've always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I could take you, but if I take you now, like we've wasted, not wasted, but we spent a lot of time talking here. We're, we can only really walk around before last train. And so it was this thing of like, do I miss my last train and spend it with this guy? And I kind of wanted to. We yeah. having the vibe was good, but he was quite far out, so it would be like an older night. Yeah, with him, right? Yeah. And I just wasn't really prepared at that moment. Like I didn't expect that. You know. Long story short, we decided he was like, "I'm gonna come back in a couple months. So why don't we actually meet then?" Wait, he lives outside Japan. Yeah. Okay. So he lives in England. And he's like, "I'm I'm back here a couple times a year. Next time I'm here, why don't we like." Make a night of it. Yeah. Like that was the discussion. I was yeah. like, this is great. Cool. Okay, let's go. So then we walk by to the station. He even said to me, 
No, I can't even show you because it's blocked. But he even said to me, he said like, this was, I had such a really nice conversation because I used to live in London. So we talked about London. He was like, it was so unexpected. I had a lovely time. Mm. We took the same train on the way home, said goodbye. And then in the morning I logged in because I was going to chat with him. Blocked. <laughs> Why? And so of course, like I go into, um, what did I do wrong mode at that point, mm. right? And I think like, oh, should I have not taken it? Should I have stayed out with him, you know? Mm. And like showed him around Nichoma and did an all night thing and taken out drinking. Was the fact that I wanted to like go home and go to bed, did that make it seem like I wasn't interested? You know, like all this stuff, but it was, mm. it's also really weird as well that when I got home, him saying like, I had a lovely night yeah. chatting with you to then wake up and be blocked. Maybe he deleted his account. He's like, I'm, I'm back in England. I don't know. Like, it we was, can go into what it is. I know, I know. Where, what is, right? Where, and yeah. it, it probably has to do more about him than it has to do with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I get that. It just reminds me, like, that's the dating scene that we're in. The blocking culture here in the gay community is so fucking quick. And it's like... It is so quick, yeah. One thing that goes wrong or whatever, people are like, bye. Okay. Well... I blocked someone and I, I didn't block someone. I kind of like just kind of left that person on a red. On red. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not totally innocent, you know. Is there anything that was more like a meeting a couple times that it was more like a deeper yeah. relationship? Yeah, so these are kind of filler stories. So one guy actually, I this guy, I met um, in the wild. We were out at a friend's birthday and we were all dressed up in yukata. It was like really cute, it was a summer birthday mm. thing. After the dinner, we went down to Nichome. I kind of like felt eyes on me sort of thing. And I saw this, this guy, really handsome guy. And yeah, I just went up and talked to him and we chatted and mm. uh, we really hit it off. And the thing that was really, really nice is that he's pretty forward with his feelings and his opinions. Is he Japanese? He is Japanese. Uh, and so I would you say You guys that were that's communicating in Japanese In, in Japanese. Though. But like, even when we were talking to each other and stuff like that, uh, like at the end or whatever, it was like, you know, like, saki kokan shinai, you know, and they were like, mm. yeah, and he was like, like, kokan shitai, taipu desu. No one ever says that to me. No one ever <laughs> says taipu desu to me, ever. <laughs> you know, because like, they're just, and it's like, true. It, okay, it's, but it's anyway, like, that's your perspective. It's so, that's my perspective. It's so forward to have someone be like, I want you. Yeah, mm. and that felt so nice. Um, we've actually seen each other I guess on and off. So good four or five months, not all the time. And it's nice, like we go to movies together and he'll even say like, this is a date. Did you guys watch Barbie together? We did watch Barbie together. <laughs> <laughs> we did watch Barbie together. I spent Christmas with him. You spent Christmas with him? Christmas, yeah, Christmas, not Eve, the day, yeah. But I don't think he's looking for a boyfriend. What do you mean? So, I mean, we've had these conversations where when we're chatting, how the chat usually has gone or whatever, he'll make comments of just like, I'm too busy to date, I'm not really looking for that sort of thing. Um, so that's kind of where I've left it because I'm like, you know, if we're going to go back to a couple of years ago mm. when I was dating, uh, he told me a lot of things. I don't want this. I don't want this and I ignored a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Like he would say like, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship, but he would act like he was in a, you yeah. know what I mean? You weren't listening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was okay. just looking, I was like, but you're doing all these yeah. dating things, romantic things. So I was confused, right? Yeah. So this time I'm just looking, I'm approaching it, listening more to him, even though we're doing things that seem very intim yeah. intimacy, like yeah. a lot of intimacy. A lot right? of intimacy. I'm also listening to what he's saying. And just take the experiences for what they are. And they've been lovely. You're still meeting him and you don't want to have any expectation just yeah. to enjoy the experience that even though he's literally telling you that he doesn't want a boyfriend. Yeah, like, so I'm not... Actually, I think it reminds me of what you were talking about before. But the difference is I cut it. <laughs> because I'm like, our end goal doesn't match. Yeah. Then why am I wasting my time? Like you're wasting my time because yeah. I'm gonna get hurt from this. Will you imagine like, but one day maybe he opens up. I'm, I'm, I'm here for him, like something like that. Mm, I don't know really, not really. There's a weirdly light element to it. It's not mm. heavy at all. And yet we're having fun 
going on these dates. Yeah, maybe it's just this <laughs> casual dating. I don't know. You tell us what this is. I don't know what this is. I mean, I'll, it's a situation show. It's a situation show, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Should I be happy for you? I think it seems like it's going very well, though. I mean, it's not maybe, sad. It's not. It's I'm not good. sad. I think yeah. I'm. I think the takeaway this year is that I'm not. I don't feel like I've. Maybe last year I felt like I was like missing out on something. Mm. But yeah, I feel in general like calmer, I'll say this year. And nothing magical has happened. I haven't got a boyfriend or whatever. I'm dating. I did get out into the wild a little bit and having a good time. And no one has um, broken my heart this year. Mm. That's a big thing. No one has broken. You fucking blocked me. <laughs> but you haven't broken my heart. So that's, <laughs> that's fine. So what about you? Okay. So first of all, you know, I started this year very strong. I mean, not very strong. I had a boyfriend, but then uh, in April, we separated our ways, you know, like... Can you tell actually how it was? Yeah, you mean which part? You know, how we separated? Yeah. He moved to Osaka. I mean, I visited him like a, a couple of times because from this year, I do have lots of like business trips in Osaka as well. But then he just said that it's like too lonely. He cannot do long, long distance relationship. So yeah, we just, we broke up. Surprisingly, like it didn't hurt me that much. I feel like it would just, uh, I was a little bit disappointed. I really thought the relationship I had with him was not a burning passion, but more like small stream, like it's gonna flow and it's gonna last very long, you know? That was uh, April. Mm. Then I someone in messaged me on Instagram. Mm. He actually watched our channel before and we went out for dinner and he was such a gentleman. Like everything about him fits my desire for like my future Your husband, checklist, you know, yeah. my checklist. But he's very tall, he has a very successful career, that he is very smart and very like intelligent, very generous as well. Mm. He looks like a very, um, like a good boy, mm -hmm. you know, like very yeah, responsible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he paid for dinner mm. and that was- and that's <laughs> guys, if you want to know one thing about Ming, <laughs> you pay for dinner or not no. pay for dinner, that's like block and no block. That's the difference. Okay, it's not like I mind that like Go Sen Yen, Lok Sen Yen dinner. Yeah. It's not, but it's a gesture. It's kind of like you're seeing someone give you a signal that like, oh, uh, uh -huh. you're so, it's like that. So I went to the restroom and after I came back, he was, he, he's already paid. That's classy. But did you go to the restroom in anticipation that while no, you were there, he no. would pay? Because some people do that. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're done the meal? Oh, it's time for me to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Well, I don't think it's very common <laughs> within the gay community, though. So Thank I was already had a really good first impression. Yeah. And then we just uh, kept seeing each other kind of like a once a week thing. And he is very successful, right? So every time we go out to drink, I never needed to pay anything. Mm. I mean, again, it's not like the, yeah, it's not what you think. It's not because of that. <laughs> but just think, saying like, okay, finally my fantasy yeah, has yeah, been yeah, fulfilled yeah, yeah, that like yeah. someone treating me that way, yeah. you know? So I, I think also I was very nice to him. Like I offered to pay sometimes well, like I don't want to be that person being like, always oh, you pay for me. I want to be a very fair relationship. I'm a very independent person. so I. I don't feel comfortable if that person keeps feeding me with, you know, I feel very insecure about it. Okay. But I think one of the thing is very different from him to me. It's like, he actually loves to go out to drink mm. and hang out with people a lot, which I can do. You guys probably have the impression like on me, it's like I'm a party boy, but I'm not. Like I, I, I can- introverted. Yeah, though. I can do it once in a while. I can put out my extroverted side yeah. and just be energetic for one night. I need a lot of personal time. That's, I think, something I'm not matching because sometimes he asks me like, oh, do you want to come out to drink? Mm. And I turn that down because I cannot do it every single day. And he can do it. Like he can, Takeda shot, like gin tonic, like he can drink all night. He hangs out with like a lot of straight people as well. Like he's not like really in the Nicho Mess scene. Like I think lots of his friends are straight people, which is, which which is like. fine, which I love mm. because I don't want to be just be in this like tiny closed up community as well. Yeah. So I'm like fine meeting his friends. But if every day, we are meeting each other, it turns out to be a night out. Like, it's very exhausting yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think that was the breaking point. I still liked him very much to the point that I was dreaming about like, oh, what if I, we get married, you know, like it was- You got, oh, you did or you didn't? I did, you I did, did <laughs> I did, I did, I did. And so it was very sweet that I was occupied by his existence. But then 
I think he got very busy with lots of like uh, travel abroad, like business trip, mm -hmm. and his business trip are crazy. Mm -hmm. Like he will be abroad for like a month, where like a month and a half, like a maybe that cause a disconnection between me and him, like less communication. Sometimes he will send me pictures about like, oh, I went to this fancy restaurant, so like I just ate this like fancy food or whatever. But like. I love it, but like I don't care when I'm not there, you know. <laughs> like I, so like I'm very awkward, like person, like to text with. Oh, one thing, the most important thing is he told me that he likes me, he is interested in me, but he wasn't looking for a boyfriend. So I was listening, but I also wasn't listening. I think like maybe I can. Yeah. I can break through, you yeah. know, like something really pissed me off is like he <laughs> came back to Japan uh -huh. um, and I, we said, can we do dinner together? And he said like he's busy, maybe another day is better. Then on the same night, like I opened up the Instagram, he's like out there clubbing with his friends. I was like, okay, that's your priority. Mm. That's what do you mean by busy? Like you're not, you don't want to see me, but you want to be out there with your friends, which is fine. It could have been handled differently. The first time I met every, like a person just like literally checking off my boxes. Yeah. But kind of like the communication where the timing is not right, where because he doesn't want a boyfriend, he doesn't want a long term relationship. Like there are a lot of like other things, like values are not matching. Like he loves to play and he um, likes to buy those kind of like little cute stuff, like which I don't. Like I'm a minimalistic person. Like I don't buy things. Okay. So some of the conversation just like doesn't flow very naturally because mm. we are, we just have very different values and he is obviously very like financially successful and he have like a lot of money to spend like which is well i also bought a couple expensive stuff this you year but, <laughs> but but we're not rich yeah, yeah yeah we're not rich maybe i can't date an upper class person i just maybe I, realized i mean it. maybe you're realizing a lot of things this year right <laughs> like maybe this will take you to someone you know who you might share interests with and give them a chance even though maybe they don't check your boxes in other ways this helps shift your idea of like what's important for you you know now that you've experienced the checklist but i feel like i'm gonna forget next year again I you know i actually agree with that. <laughs> I, I actually fully agree with that but like i'm again like i'm not have, having a bad blood with him like yeah. i still when i get lonely i still ask him like oh, do you want to come out for a dinner blah 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 and then he would start complaining about how busy He's with, with his work, so then you're like, oh, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah go yeah, away. So like yeah. I, I can't yeah. deal with it. Like I don't know what to say. Yeah. When people give you feeding you that like very negative energy, like I don't know how to reply. Maybe I should be more supportive there, there, and like baby. comforting. Like oh baby. Yeah. With this guy of yours, when he's you know saying I'm I'm busy and I'm stressed or this and that. One way though could be you showing up and saying, how can I help you? Whether it's do you need a do you want to lie down here? Do you yeah. know what I mean? I definitely think so. But again, like he's reminding me that like, oh, we are not boyfriend. Why he's like, ah, okay, okay, okay. Why yeah, yeah, am yeah. I why investing? am I putting this investing? <laughs> sure, 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 sure. I'm so sorry I messaged him again. I shouldn't because I told you that I'm gonna cut him off. Yeah. I'm not looking for a situ situation yeah. I'm looking for a potential partner that can build a successful future together. Yeah, I remember this story. You were like cutting him off and then I think he didn't he mail you like a month later and be like did you ghost me? And then you're like, yes. <laughs> but then he no, no. The, that's back. another. That's the French guy. Oh, that's the French. That's guy. That's the French guy. Oh, you're okay. mixing okay, two okay, people. I'm sorry. There's just too many guys okay. to, to, you know, keep them. In yeah, I mean the French guy. I'm not gonna go into details, but he has a boyfriend. So, um, I even remember we had this conversation at a supermarket or something. Like I said, <laughs> I said like I didn't mind. You know, like oh, I would. We did. We, we were eating gyoza. Shohei was there. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. I was like, you guys know what? Like I don't mind. I just want to live. Kind of like your reaction is like when you know that person doesn't want a boyfriend. It's like oh, I don't mind. I just want to. I just want to enjoy the process. And then, but then realize like no, that's yeah. not what we're looking for. I want to be someone's number one, yeah. not a backup. And did so. you not? Do you remember Shohei and I like looking at each other and being like? <laughs> And you're like, no, this is me, guys. No, no, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you're like I'm, so sure. And you show in or like, this does not sound like No, you but like all. I was true to myself at, at that, that moment. moment. Sure. Tell me your goal then for 2024. For 2024. Mm -hmm. um, okay. If I say, yeah, my goal is to get a boyfriend, then that's not something I can control, right? But I feel like finding my true love is more like a numbers game. Okay. I'm going to be meeting different people once every two weeks. Uh, that's my dating quota that I want to fulfill 
until I meet the right person. Wasn't that something that your friend did? Yes. So I'm. And you did it for five years. Yes. <laughs> and I am learning You're, from the you know the the people who are successful. Success like, stories. Yeah. Then, sure, then okay. just trust the process. Okay. You know? So I think for me, I don't have any dating goal. It's my personal goal for 2024 is to start like getting bigger and changing my body. Talking about that, I yeah. just started a uh, personal training. Do you know how much I'm paying? <gasps> That's how dedicated I am. Like, I'm like, I'm not spending You better money. subscribe because we need to pay, help pay for this, this guy's, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, but again, like I'm trying to see not what I'm paying, but like what I'm getting. Yeah. Good luck. I hope it works out. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in six months, but that's, yeah, that's same, same sort of for me. My goal now is to sort of like try and, and push to see where, what I can do in six months um, and where I can go. And um, it's not all about body. I'll obviously have to, you have to it's also, all about body. You also have we to start know. loving yourself too. That's also a journey. I'm just curious about what will happen. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Again, like I'm the same thing. I just yeah. want to see like I've been really not secure about my body or like yeah. not satisfied about yeah. it. So let's just spend some money and get it done to yeah, see how see. happy I will be. Yeah. You know? And maybe at the end we won't. Maybe because it is more of a personal self-love journey and maybe we can be bigger and we'll still be sad. I don't know. Yeah. And maybe it's not even about attracting guys. Maybe I'll feel more positive about myself and put myself out there. In, in a better way that will attract guys in general, right? Mm -hmm. What are your goals for 2024? What are your dating goals? Dating Data goals. specifically. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Well, maybe you're already, I mean, a lot of our viewers are in a relationship. I'm probably already in a relationship by the time you see this video. You're probably, I don't know, it's probably done. There's no way I'm, no. Gonna be, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into a relationship before we go on the cruise. That's period, period. Yeah, period. Yeah, period. Yeah. So. True. <laughs> true, very, very.